Okay, welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Dickens and I'm an orthopedic surgeon right here in Kenya. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the most popular apps, probably must have apps for anyone interested in orthopedics. Now I'm going to share with you guys six apps and three of them are what I would classify as apps for everyone. And by everyone, I mean undergraduate students, residents in orthopedic surgery and even consultants or specialists practicing orthopedic surgery. So let's begin with the apps that I think will be beneficial for everyone including undergraduate students. Then we'll move up slowly to the apps that are probably just good for consultants. Ignore those ones if you're just an undergraduate student. So let's dive right into the first app. And the first one is this app called Orthotromapedia and it's an app that is normally shared around. <laughs> because it's not available for free in the Play Store and so you probably need to buy it. It's a simple app, it gives you some three sections about where there's some introduction, common acronyms and basic principles, then dislocations and fractures. So I bet this would be a good app even for undergraduate students who just need to master the basics of orthopedics and not really the very fine nitty gritty details, you know. The information is classified into four sections, one for facts where they give you, you know, a general overview of the topic. Then there's an image section where you can see examples of images. Then there's some classify section where the app gives you the common classifications that are used. For example, you can see in hip dislocation, we have Thomas and Epstein. Then there's a treat section where the treatment, closed reduction, open reduction, and complications are discussed. And the nice thing with this app for students and residents is it's actually quite easy to refer to. I like the way the information is organized into bullet points and it covers all that we can call the essential information about dislocations and fractures. But the downside is it doesn't go into the kind of detail you would be expected to regurgitate if you're going to be sitting for, you know, FRCS exams and so on. So yeah, the second app we're going to be looking at that is, I bet, for everyone, update later, is actually Medscape. And this is not really an orthopedics only app. As you guys know, it's basically everything medicine. And it gives you a lot of information on various conditions, procedures, drugs, and so on. But the reason I've included it in this list is because I like it personally for just finding out dosages, interactions, and adverse effects of drugs. You know, in author we use quite a few drugs compared to the likes of internal medicine. And because of that, I find that sometimes I have even forgotten the dosage of some simple drug. I will rarely read any orthopedic surgery topics in Medscape. Basically, I use it as a reference for drugs. The third app that I'm going to be recommending for everyone right across from the undergraduate student to orthopedic surgeon, consultant, specialists. <laughs> it's actually called fracture classification. Guys always imagine that by the time you're a consultant, you've mastered all these things that are at your fingertips. Yeah, you know a lot of things, but the truth is it's difficult to cram everything, you know. So sometimes you just need to refer. And I like the way this app is nicely laid out. You can easily find out all sorts of classifications for pediatric fractures, adult fractures. You can see like in the pediatric hip, we have the Delbert classification. And furthermore, you can even see here that you have some references for medications, eponyms, labs. So yeah, it goes well above and beyond orthopedic surgery topics to give you a nice reference for general principles, trauma, pediatric trauma, and so on. Now, those are the three apps that I think are for like everyone all the way from undergraduate students to consultants. The next three apps I'm going to be sharing will probably be useful only for residents and consultants. And the first one is AO, Surgery Reference. Chances are nearly all orthopedic surgeons know and use this app. It offers a lot of information, especially if you'd want to make some decisions in as far as management of your patients is concerned. You just click through the part of the body that you're interested in and you select whatever kind of fracture you're interested in. There's always some more information to read. You can see the AO classification. You choose the treatment and you can always brush up the principles, patient preparation and the technique details. So in my case, I mostly just use this to sometimes go over the surgery that are not as common in my practice if and when I need to do them. 
The second app that I'd recommend for especially residents a bit less for consultants is this app called Conceptual Orthopedics. This is basically an app that is a collection of material mostly from India, including lectures, videos, notes, bullet points, and so on that would be quite good for one who is actually studying for exams in orthopedics. The only downside is that for the free version, there's quite some limited amount of videos that you can watch, notes that you can read, but it's still quite a bit of information if you actually go over everything that is offered over here. They're basically mostly just sort of lectures, but occasionally you'd find some real surgical video. So if you have time and the bandwidth to watch a lot of videos, this conceptual orthopedics app just aggregates them, brings them over onto one platform for you to watch. And the last app is actually AO Guidelines. It's called Author Guidelines. And as the name suggests, this app presents guidelines, usually from the American Association of Orthopedic Surgeons. For your reference, you can choose guidelines by specialty, by strength, or by stage of care. So like periprosthetic joint infections, you can see some guidelines from 2019. So basically it's quite a studious app especially if you are a consultant and you'd want to get evidence, you know, and also senior level orthopedic residents might actually find this helpful. So yeah, those are the six apps. There's a lot of other apps. Definitely, if you guys know some neat ones, feel free to comment down below for the sake of medical students, residents, and even consultants or specialists in orthopedic surgery. And while you head down there, feel free to hit that like button. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.